I know some of you have been wanting this video for a bit, and I'm bringing it to you now. I'm making every BO3 weapon. Not including Wonder Weapons, but every weapon that doesn't count as a Wonder Weapon. Even Chronicles. All of them. In total, there is 50. You may be wondering how I'm ranking these, because I'm actually doing it different from how I did my World at War BO1 and BO2 ranking. Instead of looking at how overall good the weapon is, or, you know, how they compare to each other or whatever, this is just going to be what is the raw damage each weapon can do. So if you pack a punch them, get double tap, and double tap actually works with the explosive weapons in this game, and I did not know that. But I said, um, pack a punch, double tap, and if you're on, like, round 100, or, you know, whatever round you're on, let's, I don't know, just whatever round. And how much damage can they do if you completely empty their ammo and get, you know, headshots or whatever, like their complete max damage output. Now, some weapons on this list might actually surprise you where they are, and I'm not calling them bad or anything. I'm just saying, comparing them to other weapons with, like, the raw damage, that's where they're going. Because some weapons, you know, they might have good damage, but they might not have the ammo to make up for that. So if you see weapons on the low, lower end of the list and you like them, I'm not saying they're bad at all. This is just complete data. The data saying it, not me, so don't get angry at me. But if you want to, you know, just throw your opinion down there and call me shit, whatever, go for it, man. And there is one weapon on this list I'm not really going to be including because one of my viewers said that it's not really fair to include it. So I'm not going to clip, but I am going to count it as an honorable mention at the very, very end. And you guys will see why it's an honorable mention. So I guess that's all I have. So let's go ahead and get in to our first weapon on this list. So to make it a little bit easier for you guys to understand, I'm going to have on screen how much damage they do per shot and how much damage they do overall. And the first weapon we have on this list is the XM53. This really did not surprise me at all. I already expected this to be at the very bottom. But per shot, this can do 4,000 damage at its max. And overall, since it only has 22 shots, it can do 88,000 damage total. Which is very, very, very low compared to like everything on this list. That's really all there is. It's just a weak launcher. I'm sure everyone knew it was going to be here. And this is where this weapon goes. Now next, this might surprise you guys at first, but just hear me out. So next is the MR6. This is actually the weakest weapon out of the starting pistols in this game. And when you pack it, it'll do 2,000 per shot. And I believe it has like 62 shots, which is, you know, it's good. But when the overall damage is just 124,000 using all of its ammo at its max, that is super weak. It might sound like a lot, but 124,000 damage is so, so low. Next is the M1911. Very, very similar to the MR6, just barely stronger. It can do 22 damage per shot or 2,200 damage, my bad. And in total, it can do 136,400 damage. Not a whole lot. Still nowhere even close to being good. Now after that is the Bloodhound. This is the strongest starting pistol in this game. It can do 2,400 damage per shot and 158,400 damage in total. Still super, super weak. Like I am really surprised that all the starting pistols in this game are like the weakest weapons even when you pack them. They used to be like godly in other games. But now we have the NX Shadow Claw. If you have ever used this, which I'm sure most of you really haven't, but when you pack this thing, it actually becomes an explosive crossbow. And to my surprise, it was so, so weak. It does 1,500 damage damage per shot i believe if you hit headshots it does that and in total it'll do 270,000 damage it's you know it's a big jump above you know starting pistols but it's still literally nothing in this game it is so 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 weak do not get it i think it can revive teammates though which is really nice now next we have a weapon that i'm sure everyone you know expected to be at the bottom which is the pharaoh this is actually you know much stronger than all the weapons i listed not like by a whole lot compared to all the other weapons but it sounds like a lot more so per shot i don't know if it's counting the burst or if it's just counting per like actual bullet but i'm just gonna say per bullet because i'm not really sure but per shot this does 1500 damage and overall using all of its ammo it does 540,000 damage total which might sound like a lot since you know the weapons i just listed didn't even reach 300,000 they barely even were in the 100,000 range it sounds like a lot but it's really not 540,000 damage is so so weak now we have a weapon i'm sure most people are going to get angry that's here and be like what what are you thinking and it's not my my idea if it was my list i would have put it a lot higher but raw damage man this gets absolutely shafted on the list so the krm it could do 6840 damage per shot and at its max potential using all the ammo it only does 547,200 damage now tell me the last time you actually use this thing on high rounds usually when you're playing de or you know I guess another map that has a KRM and has panthers or boss zombies. Tell me when you actually use it on zombies on high rounds. 
Most people use it on boss zombies because it's really effective on boss zombies, but that's it. It's really not good on zombies. So next we have the RK5. It actually really surprised me that it's stronger than the uh, KRM and raw damage output. Per shot, this thing does 2,700 damage, and in total it does 567,000 damage, which still is nothing compared to other weapons, but still, that is actually really surprising for a starting pistol that's burst. It only has 210 shots, and it's stronger than like one of the thought-to-be strongest shotguns in this game, which you know, I don't I don't get it some of these weapons don't make any sense why they're stronger than others i don't get it so now we have another smg this is the cuda i thought this was going to be you know a little bit stronger than other smgs but i guess not so per shot this does 1650 damage and overall it does 660,000 damage not too impressive still it's gonna take a bit till we actually get to weapons that do a whole lot of damage now we have the mp40 i am very surprised that the hg40 actually is much better than the mp40 i, I really did not expect that but the mp40 does 2200 damage per shot and overall does 704,000 damage. We're kind of getting up there to the d higher damage range, but still, these weapons, man, they're really weak in terms of just raw damage. Next, you have the VMP. I personally feel like it is honestly just perfect to go. You run out of ammo really fast. It doesn't feel like it's strong, but per shot, it does 1,680 damage. And overall, it does 739,200. Not impressive. It is a big jump from the start. Still nowhere near even the top. This is where the VMP goes. Next, you have the L car. Big surprise. Surprised me. I don't know how this is this strong, but the L car does 3,300 damage per shot. Pretty good. And overall, it does 792,000 damage. If this had more ammo, it would honestly be a a very very solid choice but the ammo is the only reason why this thing is not up there man it has 240 shots it runs out of ammo so quick but still that damage is kind of impressive for a pistol that doesn't have much ammo and just doesn't really seem like it's that strong but it actually is quite strong now it's the vesper this does 1890 damage per shot and overall does 793,800 damage kind of like the vmp it runs out of ammo too like really really quick you don't really expect it to be strong this is where this goes now it's the haymaker some people might question me like what what do you mean but a lot of the shotguns on this list are really not super super high because they're you know their ammo is what holds them back but haymaker does 5400 damage per shot and overall does 810,000 yeah it's 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 good but you know that overall damage is what's gonna put a lot of these weapons on low in the list man so now we have the mid a7 i'm sure most of you kind of just expected this to be here because it's not an amazing ar it's all right but it's just kind of there you don't really ever pick it up but the mid a7 does 1600 damage per shot which really is not good but it is a burst so i think you know that makes it a lot better for that per shot and in total does 844,800 damage not super good especially when a lot of the ars in this game i mean not a lot of them but you know there are some that do a lot of fucking damage next is the mauser yes i know the mauser is here very surprised it surprised me i mean it does make sense though because this ammo is really limited uh, but per shot the mauser does 5650 damage and in total does 847,500. however if you are playing origins on bo3 and you have the packed mauser and you dig up a mauser out of the ground that mauser you dig up will actually give you pack a punch ammo for your mauser which is actually just it's amazing man it's, it's free ammo it's great now the stg i wish this was higher because i love this weapon but in bo3 it literally feels like a nerf gun but it does 2200 damage per shot which is pretty decent and overall it does 800 and 58,000 damage which is honestly so much lower than i thought i almost forgot this weapon even existed because it's just kind of there it's, it's kind of forgotten in bo3 in my opinion now we have the brecky another shotgun this shotgun i know some people say that it's really really good but it really isn't in terms of raw damage it does 6,050 damage per shot which is pretty good and does 871,200 damage not a lot for a shotgun man a lot of these shotguns are super low as i said you'd expect them to be higher but they're really not now we have the shiva i know some people are going to get angry about this but surprisingly it does a lot more damage than you really expect it to. It does 2,970 damage per shot and does 891,000 damage in total, which is really solid for a Shiva, but still it's so hard to use it because it's a semi-auto rifle or a semi-auto assault rifle. So you're only shooting one at a time, which is so bad. Now we have the bootlegger. I thought this might have been lower because it really doesn't feel strong at all and it's just kind of out of the way on shadows, but it does 2,376 damage per shot, which is just such an obscure number and the total does 912,000 384 damage i hate that this thing has the weirdest damage count it's so weird i hate it it, it just 
why? So now we have like the iconic BO3 weapon, which is the KN44. This does 2,300 damage per shot, and it does 920,000 damage total. Now, kind of just average weapon, not too good, not too bad, just kind of there. We have the O4 Siege. I know some people will say that this thing is actually good. It is good for like Easter egg, boss fights, whatever, but, but it does 10,540 damage per rocket, and it does 927,500 damage total, which is okay, but we're still not breaking the million mark yet. Now we have the AK-74U. This does 2,186 damage per shot and 983,700 damage total. We are so close to a million, but I feel like this is just kind of like your average SMG in this game. Not too bad, not too good, just kind of there. Now the HVK, I know some people are going to say, what do you mean? This thing is so good. I use it on the giant. It gets me to like round 30 easily. It is good, but... You know, numbers don't lie, man. HVK does 1,838 damage per shot and 992,520 damage total. It's good, but there's still so many more weapons that do way higher damage. Now, the ICR, this surprisingly is the first weapon to break a million damage. I would never expect this thing to, but this thing does 2,700 damage per shot and 1,093,500 damage total. I really didn't expect this thing to be the first weapon to break a million. I know that it is a lot stronger than people give it credit for because it just doesn't feel strong, but it is a lot stronger than it seems. Now, the Razorback, you're going to be like, what? How is this stronger than the ICR? I, I'm surprised too, but it does 2,280 damage per shot and 1,094,000 and 400 damage total. Literally 900 damage more than the ICR. Honestly, if you put the ICR higher than the Razorback, I, I guess that makes sense because, you know, the ICR is on the wall, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about numbers, not, you know, overall how good the weapon is. But no, that's where the Razorback goes, right above the ICR. Just barely, though. Now, the M16. I know some people like this weapon in BO3 or some people might not like it, but this is just like a super average weapon in every game. It's not outstanding. It's not bad. But in this game, it does 3,375 damage per shot and it does 1,113,000 750 damage total, which is eh, it's alright, kind of mid. Now we have the Argus, or the Argus, whatever you want to call it. This, surprisingly, is the strongest shotgun out of the weapon kit shotguns. It does 9,000 damage per shot, and does 1,152,000 damage total. That's kind of it. I think it almost has the most ammo out of the shotguns, or it does. But, you know, it's never the go-to shotgun because it shoots one shot at a time, which is not good. That Peacekeeper, I wish this was higher because I love the Peacekeeper in BO3, but this does 2,000 and 40 damage per shot and 1,175,040 damage total. I didn't expect this thing to be too high because, you know, it, it's just, it's it's an assault rifle that doesn't have a whole lot of ammo. It doesn't feel like it's strong, but it's higher than I kind of thought it was. I wish it was higher, you know. Goes here. Now we have the Weevil. This might surprise people, but when, you know, you have an SMG that has 700 rounds, it, it, it does a lot of damage when you, you know, count every bullet. It does 2,012 damage per shot and 1,207,200 damage total. It makes sense since it has 700 rounds, which is almost rivaling SM, or, uh, LMGs in this game, which is just absurd but it's not super strong per bullet but that overall damage it's it's crazy i think we all knew in like bo1 the famas was so bad but in this game which is basically just the FFAR is what the FAMAS is. This thing gets such a huge improvement. So per shot, it does 2,250 damage. Not super amazing, but overall, it does 1,215,000 damage, which is great. It has so much more ammo than it did in BO1. So that's why it has so much more damage in this game than it did in BO1. Now we have the HG40. It is just miles above the MP40 because it has way, way more ammo. So per shot, this does 2,416 damage. Surprising that it does that much. I really thought it would have done lower but I guess not. But overall, it does 1,236,992. Very oddly specific number, but that's how much damage it does. Kind of surprising. I mean, you never really think of the HG40 as strong, but I guess overall, since it has a lot of ammo, it, it, it's kind of good, I guess. You have the Galil or the Galil, whatever you want to call it. Almost everyone loves this weapon, but in BO3, it does two... 1,420 damage, and overall does 1,270,500 damage total. You know, you kind of expect this to be here. I mean, it's, you know, it's trying to go up against weapons that are god tier, like S tier, because so many weapons in this game are so good, and it still holds its own very, very well in this game. Now it's the Man War. This is one of the strongest ARs in this game. The Man War, it does 2,700 damage per shot and 1,296,000 damage total. I believe it is the third strongest AR in this game, which you might be surprised what ARs are actually stronger than this, because I'm surprised too, just by looking at the list. That's kind of it. It's a slow firing AR, but still has really high damage. Now we have the M1927. You're probably going to be surprised this is this high, because usually you think of the M1927 as the weak weapon to get for early rounds for point grinding. 
This has a good amount of ammo, so, you know, it has high damage just overall because it has a lot of ammo. But per shot, it does 2,450 damage. Very surprising because that doesn't seem right, but it is for some reason. I don't know why. But overall, it does 1,470,000 damage total, which I mean, I guess it makes sense. It does feel stronger in BO3 than it does in BO2, but I don't know. Someone just doesn't feel right about this weapon being here. Now we have the 48 dredge. I hate this LMG because it's like a burst LMG. I think it's six round burst when you pack it, which is just weird. But per shot, this does 2,250 damage. Not outstanding. But overall, it does 1,890,000. We're almost at the 2 million mark. But still, this is the weakest LMG in this game, which kind of not really surprising because, you know, it's just no one ever gets it. It's burst. It sucks. I don't know. But it's still high in the list. Now we have the MX Grand. You're going to be like, oh. What? How is this this high? Well, the MX Grand, surprisingly, it does 5,750 damage per shot. Very big jump from everything else. I think it is one of the highest damage per shot weapons in this game, if you're not including, like, you know, snipers or whatever. Just normal, basic ARs or SMGs, you know, full auto weapons, this... I know it's not full auto, but it has a really high damage per shot. Now, overall, does 1,897,500 damage total, which is almost 2 million getting so close now we have the pbsh i mean it's not really surprising this is this high because it has so much ammo has a lot of damage but per shot does 2376 damage and overall does 1,912,680 damage total you know it's, it's just the go-to smg man it's great i think it's only on guard kovi which kind of sucks but you know i think everyone kind of expects it to be here now we have our second lmg on this list which is the mg08 this does 2750 damage per shot and does 1,925,000 damage total i hate that they changed it in bo3 because it literally feels like a nerf gun just like the stg because in bo2 it really felt like an actual beefy ass lmg and it did the ricochet effect and they just downgraded it so hard in this game i hate that i did that to a lot of weapons they made a lot of weapons feel like nerf guns when in the older games they really felt like big beefy weapons now our next lmg which is the rpk this does 3,150 damage per shot, and in total does 1,968,750 damage total. We're so close to 2 million. I mean, the RPK, I think if it had a little bit more ammo, it would obviously break that 2 million mark. But still, it's this high. I mean, all the LMGs are going to be high because they have a lot of ammo and naturally just have a lot of damage. But I guess that's it for the RPK. I don't think there's much else to talk about because it's just an LMG with a lot of ammo. Now we have the last weapon before the 2 million mark, and this goes to the BRM. Just barely out of the 2 million mark. So this does 2,475 damage per shot and does 1,980,000 damage total. It's not too surprising because, you know, it's an LMG. A lot of the weapons at the top of this list really shouldn't be surprising except for one of them. Unless you really don't know BO3 weapons that well. But this is where the BRM goes. Now we have a first weapon that breaks the 2 million mark. It is the Dingo. Yes, surprisingly, the Dingo is not higher. I thought it would be, but it only does 2,813 damage per shot. Very weird, uh, but it does 2,025,360 damage total. Pretty good. You know, it's, it's, I think it is number eight on the list. So it's very good. And we have the M14. This is the weapon I was super surprised because someone in my comment section was like, I, I can't remember what video. It might've been the top 10 biggest glove video. You should go check that out. So it's a pretty good video. They said the M14 on BO3 is super Super, super good. I'm like, really? Is it though? Like, uh, it turns out it is. So it does 9,425 damage per shot and it does 2,111,200 damage total. Absolutely insane. It's almost in the top five strongest raw damage weapons in this game. I don't even understand why this is so strong in this game. It doesn't even make sense. Now we have the Locust. This really isn't a surprise either because it's a sniper. It does 18,000 damage per shot and it does 2,250,000 damage total. Next is the SVG. The, all, all the snipers are basically together. Yeah, they all do very close damage but the svg actually surprisingly isn't the strongest in raw damage it is the strongest sniper per shot which is 20,500 damage you know per bullet and in total does 2,255,000 overall so locust is the weakest sniper in this game the svg is second and number one the first the best sniper in this game obviously shouldn't be a surprise is the dracon or draken whatever you want to call it it is 15,000 damage per shot so it's the weakest per bullet sniper but it does 2.4 million damage total which is absolutely insane now we have our top three. Yes, surprisingly, the Gorgon or Gorgon, whatever you want to say. People know that this thing is a so far LMG. It's not super good to have or whatever, but it has really high damage. So each bullet is 4,050 damage. 
So it's great. And its overall damage is 2,430,000. So it's the strongest LMG in this game. I believe it is the strongest full auto weapon. And the last two weapons on this list, you might be surprised, but at the same time, if you know them, it really shouldn't be too surprising. Number two, we have the Banshee. This does 26,000 damage per shot. It's an energy weapon, so it's just naturally going to do way more damage. And overall, it does 2,496,000, almost 2.5 million damage total. Crazy. It's not super easy to use, but its raw damage is so high. Now, our number one spot, if we're not including that weapon I said at the beginning, that's kind of unfair to include, we have the Rifty 9. This does 9,564 damage per shot. And if you want to take a wild guess at what the overall damage is before I say it, you can go ahead and pause now and think of it. And if you just thought of it, this is it right here. It's 3,251,760 damage total it's insane you know the weapons gradually kept going higher and higher but this is just like so much higher than the banshee it's so much higher than number two it goes from 2.5 million all the way to 3.2 million it's crazy rift 9 you never think of it as like super strong but it's absolutely insane I remember at the beginning as i just recently just said there was a weapon i didn't want to include because a viewer of mine said that it wouldn't really be fair and i mean it isn't a wonder weapon but at the same time man it is so strong this is the dual wield marshals now these are so strong because per shot they do 35,600 damage so you do one shot and it basically shoots out four like pellets at once so it's doing four times the damage per shot and if you want to take a wild guess at how much this does overall damage it is really freaking high and pause real quick and if you just thought of it it does eight million six hundred fifteen thousand and two hundred damage total i don't understand why this does so much damage i never even thought it would do this much it's absolutely insane i'm pretty sure it's better than like some wonder some um non-infinite damage wonder weapons i don't know i don't get it like it can kill a whole lot of zombies on round 100 because round 100 i believe the zombies health is like 5.2 million this can do 8.6 million so you could probably kill a lot of zombies on round 100 it's crazy but that pretty much concludes our list. If you have any ideas for what I should do next, let me know. I'm probably going to upload some custom zombies when you see this. I have a few um, ideas of mine that I'm going to upload in the next few days. Make sure you uh, turn on notifications so you don't miss those. Make sure you should join my Discord server. It's a link in the description. I'm, I'm growing a community. I'm getting close to 200 members in there. So make sure you join that. So you can, you know, be updated on my live streams, ask me questions, up, uh, updated on my videos, all that stuff. And, you know, it's pretty active. So you can, all, you can uh, find people to talk to. It's great. That's all I have for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.